newspaper, Warwick Ball, that's been reporting on the problems. Uh, Isabel Atkins is editor-in-chief. Morning, Isabel. Good morning, Trish. How are you? I'm fine, but what's happening with this timetable? Explain what's going on. So, essentially, uh, Warwick has said um, this year that the provisional timetable would be released the first week of Easter. This was then pushed back to the 21st and then the 26th. Uh, it was eventually released on the 28th of March, and when it was released, it was effectively uh, a shambles. Exams are missing, there are exams scheduled for 2nd July, bearing in mind that the exam period was officially week 4 to week 9, which wanted about the 20th of June. This would mean that not only freshers would have exams after the actual end of term, so after their accommodation lets would have ended, uh, but also finalist exams were scheduled for the 2nd of July as well. So this, was, this would be two weeks before graduation was due to start. So it had to be a two-week turnover for exams to be marked and for certifications to be given to these finalist students that had exams on the 2nd of July. There's a common sense precedent that finalist exams go first. Um, not only so obviously all the logistical stuff can take place so exams can be marked, but also so that uh, they can enjoy the second half of their, their last term at university. So graduation hall, society halls and that sort of thing all mm. take place at the end of June. Um, so this provisional timetable was met with um, what Liam Jackson called anger and disappointment, um, and it was pulled on the 1st of April. Um, we've since been told that we won't be getting any sort of provisional timetable until the final timetable is released on the 22nd of April. So this is three weeks before the exam period is due to start, okay, well so we people don't know when their exams are going to be. Okay, well, we have been in touch with the University of Warwick. They've given us a statement. I'll read it out in just a moment. But when you approached them... Were they, uh, you know, what was their reaction? I think it, it varied hugely by departments. So some, some departments were very supportive um, and they told their students that they were going to, to discuss the issues that had been brought forward to them. Some departments weren't, kept very mum about it. Uh, and the general response from the university, as I said, was to blame administrative errors and then pull the timetable entirely. So we now have absolutely no indication of when exams okay. are going to be. Well, you know, could s some students risk getting poor grades because of this, Isabel? Yes, essentially, because exam, t exam revision is strategy. And if you don't know when your exam is going to be, you can't use your time to the best, the okay. best form. Okay, so what's going to happen going forward? We, we basically have been told that we are getting this thing till the, the start of term three, um, which is ten days away. Um, we're losing precious time, um, and there's much uh, outrage among students that Warwick isn't looking after their mental health. They're just making a stressful period even more anxiety-inducing, um, and it's just putting a huge burden on students unnecessarily. It's you know it seems that University of Warwick is you know obviously we know about the. The huge controversy uh, last year uh, with the the, uh, the the whole WhatsApp messaging system. It's it's mm -hmm. not it's not great, is it? At the moment, it's not going through a, a great time in the media. I think generally students feel that they're they're being very let down by Warwick, um, and that in its practices it isn't looking out for their best interests. And that's definitely that's a sentiment definitely shared with this debacle as well. Okay, thanks very much. Isabel Atkins, editor-in-chief of the university newspaper, The White Ball. We did approach uh, the university and they say they've made changes and improvements to the exam uh, capacities and venues to enhance and improve the student experience. The delays were only because it was a provisional timetable, not the final timetable. They say the final timetable will be published in the week beginning the 22nd of April. And they say the exam office and personal tutors will be happy to help students with any further queries once the final timetable is published. It's Breakfast with Trish here on BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. <laughs>